YouTube bow coming at you. Never mind a toaster, never mind a stove. Coming at you with a pickup. I feel like Thanos collecting the st Infinity Stones, and I don't have much more to go. So, with further ado, or without further ado, let's open this bad boy up. So, how is everybody out there in the world? I know there's so much happening, there's so much going on um, with politics and, you know, the war in Ukraine. We actually have... Um, a Supreme Court justice that's been nominated, that's kind of going through the motions. I haven't been following up with that. Not too crazy in politics, but I heard it's very entertaining. So if anybody's watching that, more power to you. So, um, yeah, let's see. I got this pickup on, of course, eBay, again, for a good price. Um, looked like the condition was pretty good. Oh, look at that ebay authenticity guarantee this is part of their um legit check-in program meet your soulmates um wow this is dope i love it and i'm gonna keep this box for a future ship wait up i thought this came with a box what is this in here i see something inside so we have this what is that what is this the fuck is this <laughs> it's a surprise, yeah. Oh, this is a um Okay, cool. I guess like a dust bag. Does this belong to anything? That's nice. That was nice they included it. I thought it came with a box. No, I don't think it no, I don't think so. Okay, interesting. I got a dust bag, so okay, cool. Appreciate it. Thank you. But of course we are here for the kicks. And as you can see, there's a stick on the bottom. We have, I wish my editing skills was up to par. Well, before we get into what we have, this is a card from uh, eBay. Authentic without a doubt. That's dope. I'm glad that they have this. Listen, um, an extra day or two shipping or three or wherever it's coming from. It doesn't hurt to know that when you get your kicks, they're legit. Um, I've been scammed before in the past. It's not a good feeling and you end up being stuck with it uh, unless you give away those shoes or items to somebody that's in need and so yeah uh style don't sell reps is retail or don't sell reps is real all right so we're getting to the denny's mm, nice quality as per usual on this 2016 lineup the unlv dunk highs from 2016 very nice material um they do not uh, disappoint um, some wear, um, not bad at all. Let's see, let's check the underbelly. Uh, we have a sticker, we have no star loss. Do you remember on the regular dunks, the star loss, there's no stars, as you can see. I mean, there are stars, it's just not, they're not prominent, as you can see there. But yeah, dope. Um, love, 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 love these joints. I love the leather on these. Um... Yeah, I got the low tops that released last year. Material is dope. Just needs a cleaning. Got to disinfect the insides. Let's see if there's any anything special inside. Uh, they're pretty choked up, so I don't see anything. You have your little eBay authenticity tag. To show that they came from eBay. UNOV Dunks. I'm not sure what the color code is for this shoe. Uh, it's, I mean, in terms of like the colors that Nike uses to describe their colorways, but yeah, you got your red and gray, red on the overlays, uh, gray on the toe box, lateral, and the medial side, as well as in the high collar area, and even on the back below the patch. Leather, look at that leather. It's never to disappoint. This is, look at that. Oh, premium. This is premium. And um, I paid about, a little hair there, what is that? I paid about, I think, $175. Uh, decent. I've been really getting some great deals on these dunks. All I have left to collect from this Be True to Your School collection is the Iowa, uh, Iowa State, and then the Terminator High. And then from there, I can kind of expand to like other 
presumed college colorways like the Michigan, the Spartans and stuff like that. But I'm just kind of going the traditional route. Um, in terms of like copying the lows, I'm all right with that. Like I wanted to just build up the highs. If I can get the lows over time, cool. I'm not really pressing the lows. Um, it's got a little sticker on there. Yeah, so definitely dope. Condition is good. White midsole can definitely use a cleaning. Um, no drag. Um, these look like they were probably worn a couple of times. Um, the bottoms are not even that dirty. They, they didn't clean them, which they should have. Would have been nice. Whenever I sell you shoes, I make sure I clean the bottoms. Um, that's just me, you know, because I want the, the buyer to get, you know, I'm trying to, first of all, trying to get as much coin as I can. And dirty bottoms can sometimes affect the sales price. But when you're like me and you're like, you know, <laughs> you're aiming for something that you want because you're trying to complete a collection, you'll kind of bypass that. At the end of the day, you want to get the best price possible. But for me as a seller, when I do sell things, I clean up the shoe, you know, if it needs some conditioning, if I factory lace it. If I clean the bottoms, clean the midsoles, even the insoles, you know, I'll take like a, a, a fabric lint shaver. I don't know. I like to go through those extra steps. That's me. I've always been doing that for my own sneakers. So why not do it to someone that I'll sell to? But yeah, these are pretty choked up. You have a nylon tongue that you can barely see. On the very top, you have a gray nylon tag with Nike. Nike check embroidered in red. Again, I forgot what color red this is. On the guts, you have this... Um, I guess a mesh. I want to say mesh because mesh is breathable. This is not mesh. It looks like mesh, but it's like, um, yeah, I guess you could say it's mesh. Mesh, meshish, I guess. <laughs> uh, material, um, yeah, pretty thick, not too thin. Um, nice padding. It's not an SB, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, but yeah, you can kind of see the old wrinkled senior skin on that, man. Look at that. It's like old abuelo skin. Like, it's like grabbing onto your abuela's hand and be like, hey, this feels familiar. But yeah, um, definitely nice shoe. It definitely has good build. Um, the quality craftsmanship is great. Um, they need to start making more dunks like this. Not this crap that we were getting in 2021. 2020, we had a decent year when they released the, the lows, the Kentucky, Syracuse, and the... Um, St. John's, like the quality of those were pretty good. I don't think they were as good as these, but they were really good. They're, you know, they're pretty much a notch below these. These, I mean, look at that leather, man. Uh, I can't wait to kind of unlace these and put a shoe tree in, kind of form them, clean them up, and have them look right. And so with that, y'all, I'm not going to waste none more of your time. I'm going to bring them to the mantle with the uh, other collection, with the rest of the collection, rather, because I have to do... I have a uh, midterms coming up, so yeah, basically, here it is. Here we go. You've joined home. You are home, and then we got these dunks here. But yeah, you are home. You are with family. So I'm going to throw this right here. I got to do a lot of reorganizing um, on foot. I'll just show you what I guys have on foot. I got some um, shattered backboards. And, um, yeah, that's what's on feet. So, uh, comparison, though, you can kind of see the grays from the lows to the highs. The, 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 the grays on the 2016 pair are a lot darker. The lows, I think the original colorway, like the OGs, were like this color. And over time, you know, they darken things up a bit. But that's cool with me. I don't know if I'm going to age these out. Um, I don't know. I mean, I have the stuff to age it out. I just don't know if I'm going to do it. But it is your boy, Steak Sizzle. And, um, yeah. Don't forget the order. It. Make sure you always throw the order on, guys. And I'm out of here. Until the next one. Peace.